The unusual thing about the first hostel was that it was built on, uh, it was previously a prison. So, so this was the idea. The hostel is based on an old prison and each room was decorated by um, a different artist. So this is what's interesting about this hostel. And then we talked about this unusual hotel in Chile. And uh, this hotel is, you know, it's shaped like a volcano and it's in a beautiful area in the country where you can do a lot of things. So we talked about it. And after that, uh, we discussed phrases with go. So we talked about five different ways of using the verb go. So if you want to talk about an activity with the ing, we just use go directly. We don't add anything like this example. Can you see this one? You can go fishing, go fishing. So here you can see we used go with the activity directly. We didn't use any prepositions, just the activity. Go fishing, go skiing, go swimming, go sailing, go shopping. It's the same thing, okay? So this was the first rule. The second rule, it says we use go plus two if we're talking about a place. And you can see it here when we said go to the volcano. Can you see this one? Go to the Chuswenko, Chuswenko volcano. So here, this is an example of a place, go to, go to. So we use go to with places. The third rule we talked about was with people. If you want to talk about a person and you want to use the verb go, you need to use with, go with, like this example. I went with an excellent guide. Can you see this? I went with an excellent guide. So here we use the verb go. We used it with, with. Had a can half preposition with. Okay, number four, the fourth rule it says, you can use go plus four. If you want to talk about an activity or a noun, which is, uh, I mean, an activity which is not ing, a noun like this one. Go for a drink, go for a walk, go for a swim go for a hike. So we say, I went for, like the example here. And the last rule, rule number five, we talked about, if you want to talk about travel words, like trip, holiday, vacation, journey, safari, you know, these kind of words, you need to use on. I went on a trip. I went on a, uh, I went on holiday. I went on a safari, for example. So this was in our last lesson. These are five different ways we can use the verb go. All right. So we finished this and we also finished the exercise. This exercise, we talked about all of these words. And this is very nice. Number nine is a very nice exercise, I think, because it's a two in one exercise. You need to use the right form of go. So you need to change present simple, past simple, present perfect. You need to pay attention to what form you have to use of go and you have to use the right rule. So we did this exercise last night. I mean, last lesson, I think it was a very good exercise. All right, now let's talk about today's topic. So today's topic, we're gonna talk a bit about complaints and uh, requests. So how can we make complaints and how can we make requests? So, but first of all, let's start with these questions. So, um, so here, number one, it says, what do people complain about in hotels and restaurants? Think of three things for each place. Okay, so let's imagine we have a hotel or we have a, we have a restaurant. What do you think are the most common complaints that you might hear? So let's say we own the hotel or we own the restaurant. And maybe some of the people who, who are staying at our hotel 
are going to complain. What do you think these complaints will be? Or a restaurant? Tell our, tell our What's the main uh, complaint? Sorry? Uh, uh, what's complaint. the meaning? What's the meaning of complain? Ah, okay. Who can it's explain a... complain in English? Complain. Maybe complain uh, uh, means a uh, problem. There's and, a problem. Uh, in, the, in the room or something and you uh, you tell the, the person who have this place about this. You complain for something you don't like. That's exactly right. That's the idea, yes. So complain, this is when there's a problem and you want to talk about it to the manager or to the owner of uh, the hotel or the restaurant. Do you get the idea, Rashid? Complain. What, what, is, it yep. in, what is it in Arabic? What do you think it is? Yes, yes. صح يتذمر بالضبط هذه الترجمه الفصحى يعني صح اوكي سو سو ذيس از ذا مينينغ اوف كومبلين سو سلمى يو ار اباوت تو انسر يو ار اباوت تو ساي سمثينغ اباوت سم اوف ذا بروبلمز ذات بيبول يوجلي كومبلين اباوت ان هوتيلز اند ريستورانتس اوكي كان يو جيف اس ان اكزامبل ميبي ذا هوتيل نوت لايك ذا بيكتشرز اند ذا ادفرتايزمنت يس ذيس از ا فيري بيج بروبلم ناو رايت اسبيشلي وين يو بوك اون لاين And you see beautiful rooms, beautiful pictures, <laughs> beautiful hotel. But then when you go, it doesn't look like the, the photos. I, I agree. I think this is a big problem now. Okay, so this is one good problem that people complain about. Um, so what do you think? Can you think of any other problems in hotels or restaurants that people might complain about? What do you think? Uh, the food. The food, okay. But what, what exactly about the food do you think maybe the people will complain? Uh, the food, uh, uh, when the... Mm -hmm. That's it. Hello, I, I can't hear you. You said when the food? When the food, uh, when the food uh, is, uh, doesn't uh, delicious. Okay, so when, when the food doesn't taste delicious or when the food is bad, maybe people yes. will complain. True, okay. Um, Samiha, what do you think? Some common complaints. Uh, common complaints. Maybe, yeah, a prob uh, problem related to the furniture. Maybe yeah. the bed is not good, or maybe uh, mm. something broken. Or uh, okay, yeah. So maybe maybe something is not working. Maybe the shower yes, is not working. Not, maybe air condition is not uh, working. True. Okay, this is another common problem. What about hotels? Can you think of any problem uh, in, sorry, restaurants? Any problems that people complain about in, in, in restaurants? Maybe the time of, uh, of the service is not, uh, it's not uh, at the time or it's not a good time, maybe. Mm, you're saying so they're too slow. So they keep, they keep yes. the customers waiting for too long. Yes, or maybe close it uh, very quickly. Uh, you wake up uh, for finding for uh, the breakfast. Uh, maybe they tell you it's closed. It. Also, the size of restaurant. The size. Mm, but do you think you can complain about the size of a restaurant? Can no, you... I don't. No, that's it's hard not. because you can't yeah. go also, to the Also, the cover the table. It might be there. Yeah, this well, this one maybe if they didn't if they didn't clean your table before you arrived, then of course this is not a good thing. So you can complain, or maybe can... the food is not hot. <laughs> this is another big problem, right? So yeah. they bring your food cold. So yeah. this is not very good, of course. Okay, so these are just some examples of problems that people have in hotels and restaurants. 
Now, my question is, have you ever complained about a hotel room or about a food in a restaurant or, or maybe something you bought from a shop or, or a supermarket or something? Who has complained before in a hotel or in a restaurant? or even in a supermarket or a shop or a, I don't know, a mall, department store. Who can share with us a story? Manan, can you, can you hear us? Hello, Manan. Okay, Manan is not there. Uh, okay, Galaxy, I don't know your name. Samiha's friend. <laughs> My name is Sumaya. Hello, Sumaya. Hi, how are you today? Uh, I'm fine, thanks. Okay, so Sumaya, you can tell us if you've had any bad experience with uh, with restaurants, with hotels, maybe you bought something. With a hotel. With, with a hotel, hotel? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, what once. Happened? Once in Egypt, it wasn't uh, the room very clean, the service very slow, the pillows not very comfortable. Mm. And and what did you say? How how did you complain? Did you go to the did you go to the reception area? Did you tell them you're it's not comfortable? No 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 no. I I tell I, I told the garson I think. Ah, uh, you mean uh, the person who? I don't. Yeah, the person who cleans. Ah, uh, your room service. You talk to you complained yeah, you, you complained to room service. Yeah, to him direct, directly. And, and what, did he do anything? Did he uh, change your pillows? Yes. Uh, okay, and were the pillows comfortable after he changed them? Were they better? <laughs> no, the same pillow, I think. The, the same pillow. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe the problem is with the hotel itself, right? Maybe they don't have comfortable pillows and comfortable beds. Yes, yes, I think so. Mm, okay. Any, any other stories? Maybe with a restaurant or maybe... Uh, I don't know, maybe you bought something from a store, from a mall, from a supermarket, and you complained about it. Has this happened to you before? No, you can't remember any stories, Sumaya? Yes. Ah, okay, okay. So, so this is just an example of some common problems that maybe people uh, have in restaurants and hotels. Now, in exercise number two, what I'd like you to do is just, I want you to choose the wrong word or the, the wrong phrase, the incorrect one, and we just want to cross it. So, for example, you can say, the window is broken, that's correct. You can say, the chair is broken, that's also correct. But we cannot say the room is broken, you know, it's not correct, it's incorrect. What about number two? Which one is the wrong words? What do you think? TV, I think. Right, the TV. So we can say the TV isn't hot enough. Can we say the TV isn't hot enough? No. No, because we don't no. use it. We don't use TVs for heating. So, okay. What about number three? The room, the room, yeah. The room is too noisy? You, we can't say the room is too noisy. Yes, I think. Chair. Mm. The chair. Yes, that's correct. So we can say the room is too noisy, right? So maybe if you book a room in a hotel and maybe next to you, there's a family with a lot of kids and they're crying and screaming and fighting. You can mm. go to the receptionist and you can say, sorry, can I change my room? My room is too noisy. So it's okay, you can use my room is too noisy. Uh, you can also say the lift is too noisy. Mm, if your room is next to the lift, if it's next to the elevator, maybe it's too noisy. All that right, might be the chair, I uh, think maybe uh, it sounds. Maybe if it's rock or chair, maybe it's noisy. Mm, okay, yeah, maybe if it's maybe a rocker it's chair, odd. you know, the chairs that move, rocker chairs. Maybe, yeah, maybe it can be noisy. But I don't think people usually complain about chairs being noisy, yes. right? Yeah. Because yeah. we don't really move a lot in, in chairs. Yeah. All right, okay. Number four, what about number four? Which one is not correct? My is incorrect? bed. My bed. My bed hasn't arrived. <laughs> yes. So this is, 
This is correct. Okay, number five, which word should we cross here? Window. Correct. Because with windows, window. we just say the window doesn't open. We don't say the window doesn't work. Okay, number six. What do you think here? Which one should we? Shower. Shower. Shower yeah. Shower. So we can we can't say we can't say there's something wrong with the shower. Maybe light. Maybe light. Room number. Room number. Room number. Can, can room number? We can't say there's something wrong with the room number. Yes. Correct. We can't. Because usually there isn't something wrong with the no room number. You can just say, this isn't my room, but usually there's yes. nothing wrong with it. But maybe there's a problem with the light, it's not working. Maybe the shower is not working, there's something wrong Anything with it. Anything maybe you use in the room. That's the idea. If it's something you use, then maybe there's something wrong with it. But room numbers, you know, there's, you don't use it. It's just a room number. Okay, so, you can see already that the whole lesson is about hotels, restaurants, and so on. Now in part B, they want you to think of more, another word or another phrase you can use in these sentences. So we can say the window is broken. We can say the chair is broken. What else can we say is broken in a, in a restaurant or in a hotel? The door is uh, broken. The door is broken, maybe, yeah. Chair is broken. The chair is broken. Can the table we, is. The table is broken. Can we say uh, the bed is broken? Yes, we can. Yes, we can, I think, yeah. If the bed has a problem or if it's broken, you can complain. You can say, sorry, the bed is broken, you know, do something. Okay, what about number two? Things which are not hot enough. So the food is not hot enough. The shower the isn't hot enough. What else? What the did you say, Sahib? Air conditioner? Do, do, we want, do we want the air conditioner to be hot? Or no. do you want it to be cold? <laughs> cold. Yeah, so you can say the air conditioner isn't cold enough, Sah. If you say isn't cold enough, this is correct, especially if it's a hot country in the summer and your air conditioner is not hot, is not cold enough, of course, this is a problem. You can say my air conditioner, my AC isn't hot, isn't cold enough. But what about hot enough? Uh, the coffee. The coffee. The coffee. Mm, yeah. coffee is good. Yeah, maybe in the breakfast. If the coffee is cold, you can complain. You can say the coffee isn't hot enough. Um, or for example, the, the meals uh, aren't hot enough. Yeah, you can complain. The fridge isn't cold enough. The fridge isn't cold enough, correct? If your fridge <clears throat> is not working well, you can complain. And you can say the fridge isn't cold enough, correct? All right, something which is too noisy. The room is too noisy. The lift is too noisy. Anything else that we can say is too noisy? The phone is uh, too noisy. The phone? I don't know if we can say phone. Because here we're trying to imagine a hotel or a restaurant. We can say the restaurant is too noisy, mm. right? Or Maybe. the reception is too noisy. The next room. The next room is too noisy. Yeah. Okay. So we don't have a lot of examples here. What about number four? My breakfast hasn't arrived. My newspaper hasn't arrived. What else hasn't arrived? My book. Maybe. Maybe if you order the book from the reception and they said they'll bring it, but they haven't, you can say this. Maybe. My room card. I think it's uh, 
My clothes, I think. Has my clothes. Yeah, maybe, maybe you left your clothes in the laundry, the hotel laundry, and they're late, right? So you can say, my clothes haven't arrived, correct? My bag. My bag hasn't arrived. Yes, but I think this is a complaint uh, you make at the airport, right? My bag hasn't arrived or my suitcase, right? So yes. it's correct. By the way, it's correct. But I don't think you can say it in a hotel. Maybe uh, in the airport, it's better if you say if you have this problem to complain in the airport. You can also say my coffee hasn't arrived. If you're waiting in the restaurant or in the cafe, in a cafe, you can you can say my coffee hasn't arrived. So they're late. They're slow. The service isn't very good. I okay. think we can use it uh, for all. Uh, yeah, for anything. Or, uh, drinks. I agree. I think any food, any drink where uh, the hotel or the restaurant is late or slow, you can use this number four. <clears throat> Okay, number four, number five. The air conditioning isn't working or doesn't work. The remote control doesn't work. What else doesn't work? The TV. The TV doesn't work. What else? Uh, the internet uh, don't work. The internet doesn't work, correct? The shower. The shower doesn't work. The fridge doesn't work. The heating doesn't work. And this is a problem if it's a cold, if it's a cold country and it's in the winter. So if the heating doesn't work, this is a big problem. The heating the doesn't, doesn't work. work. Sorry, so hi. The light doesn't work. The lights don't work or the light doesn't work. The my room card doesn't work. This is also annoying. All right, the last one, number six. There's something wrong with the shower, there's something wrong with the light. I think you can use it for almost anything, number six. Mm -hmm. There's something wrong with the heating, there's something wrong with the air conditioning, there's something wrong with the fridge, there's something wrong with, what else do we have in a room? Anything that works with electricity, there's something wrong with the kettle. Usually hotels have a little kettle there's something wrong with, I don't know, anything that works with electricity, I think you can say, or maybe water and heating, you can say there's something wrong. All right, so you get the idea, this is number two. So now let's move on to number three, let's take a look. So here in exercise number three, we're gonna listen. We have a bit of listening. Now, I want you to take a look at the photo and we're gonna listen to three guests making complaints to the receptionist. What problems do they have? Mm. All right, can you, see, uh, can you see these three guests? We have Mr. Lane, we have Mr. Cole, and at the end here we have Mrs. Gibson. And we can see here the receptionist. She's here at the reception table. So, okay, let's make a, a quick guess, very quick guess. What do you think the problems will be about? About what, in your opinion? Because it's a hotel, what do you think they will complain about? We can make a few guesses. What do you think? No guesses? Mm, okay. So, hi, do you have any guesses? No, I, I don't. Okay. All right, so let's listen and let's find out what their problems are. Let's see what the guests will complain about. Let's listen together and let's find out. Track 40. Good morning, sir. Can I help you? Good morning. I'm sorry, but I've... Uh, Samiha, can you hear it? Can you hear the recording? Yes. Ah, uh, okay, good. Track 40. Good morning, sir. Can I help you? Good morning. I'm sorry, 
but I've got a bit of a problem. The remote control in my room doesn't work, so I have to walk over to the TV every time I want to change channels. I wonder if you could ask someone to fix it. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'll get someone to look at it this morning. Thank you. Oh, and I wonder if I could have some more towels, please. I dropped mine in the bath last night. Of course. I'll ask room service to get you some more. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, where do I go for breakfast? The restaurant is just along the corridor on your left. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Can I help you? I certainly hope so. I'm afraid I've got a complaint. I'm in room 102, and it's much too noisy. I'm right next to the lift, and I didn't get any sleep last night. I'm very sorry to hear that, but I'm afraid there isn't another room available today. We're fully booked. Right. Could I speak to the manager, please? Just take a seat, and I'll let him know you'd like to see him. Thank you. Excuse me, could you help me, please? Hello, Mrs Gibson. What's the problem? I'm sorry, but I think there's something wrong with the shower. It isn't hot enough. Would you mind sending someone to look at it, please? Of course. I'll send someone up straight away. It's room 303, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Thank you very much. Not at all. Oh, and we have to leave today, I'm afraid. Oh, so you're not leaving tomorrow? No, I'm sorry. I got the dates wrong. We have to get home by this evening. I'm really sorry. Don't worry. It's not a problem, Mrs Gibson. Check-out is at 12 o'clock. Thank you very much. So there is another room available today? Yes, there is now. It's room 303. Do you want me to reserve it for you? Yes, please. OK. You can change rooms any time after 2pm. Right. Thank you very much. Good morning, the Station Hotel. Oh, yes, that's the rock band, isn't it? And they're just staying for one night. Yes, their rooms are reserved here this evening. They're in rooms 301, 302, 304 and 305. Thank you. Bye. OK. So let's talk about the problems first, and then we can listen again and check the other things. So let's start with Mr. Lane. What's his problem? What's his complaint? What's his complaint? What did he complain about? Remote control. Yeah, what's wrong with the remote control? Doesn't work. Doesn't work. Yeah, it doesn't work. That's correct. Yeah. What about Mr. Cole? What, what did he complain about? The room it was very noisy, I think. He complained about noisy. Yeah, but wh why? Why was his room noisy? What's the reason? Can you remember why why it was? Uh, I think it was uh, next to the lift. Yeah, it's next to the lift, so it's noisy, right? What about Mrs. Gibson? Is she, is she complaining is about? Yes, wow. correct. She said the shower. What did she say about the shower? Shower isn't uh, hot enough. Right, her shower isn't hot enough. Mm. Okay, there was something else that happened. Who can who can tell me what happened? I don't know if you can remember. Maybe Mrs. Uh huh, Mrs. Gibson. Some. Mrs. Mrs. Gibson. Uh, she's going no. to change. Change what? Her room. Hmm. Is she going to change her room? No, Maybe. she. She's left, I think. Left the hotel. She's, she's going to leave. The she's going to check, check out. out. She's going to check yeah, out. Check she's out. going to yeah. leave. Mm, okay. All right. But um, what what's going to happen to her room? Maybe, uh, Mr. Mm -hmm. Maybe Mr. Mr. Uh, Cole. Cole? Yes, I have a free room Where now. Possible? Want so to take it. Maybe he'll take it. He's going to take it. Okay. Yes, it's available. It's available now. Because can you remember what the receptionist said in the beginning when he said, my room is uh, too noisy and I want to change it? What did the receptionist, receptionist say? 
in the beginning. I'm afraid I can't because it's not available full, today. Full poking. Full poking. Yeah. In the beginning, the receptionist, she said, I'm afraid the hotel is fully booked. So there aren't any rooms available. But now, because Mrs. Gibson is checking out early, so this means mm -hmm. Mr. Cole now has a new room he can he can change to, right? So he can take a room. Mm, okay. Uh, now, I don't know if you can remember, but can you remember the second part of the question that says, what are the receptionist's solutions to each guest problems, to, to each guest's problems. Can you remember the solutions, what she, what she offered? For example, when Mr. Lane complained about the remote control not working, can you remember what, uh, what she said? Maybe, uh, sorry. I'm sorry about sharing that. Just sorry, that's all? Or did I she will maybe... send someone to fix it. Mm, did she say she'll send someone to fix it? I think so. Mm, okay. And what about Mr. Cole? What was the solution she offered in the beginning? Bef I'm very sorry. Correct. And then? Uh -huh. After 2 p.m. you can change your room. It's available. But in the beginning, because there were no there were no available rooms, <laughs> there were no available rooms in the beginning. What did, what what did he ask for? He asked for something. Can you remember what he asked for? I'm I'm afraid there isn't. A... Correct. This is this is Another what there is. Yeah, that's what the receptionist said in the beginning. She said there aren't any rooms. So what did he say? He, he, he wanted something, right? He asked for something. Not the room, he asked for something else. I don't know if you can remember. The restaurant. Mm -hmm. What about the restaurant? The breakfast. The location of the restaurant, I think. Uh, I think that's Mr. Lane in the beginning. He wanted to have breakfast, so she, he asked the directions. But Mr. Cole, he asked for something else. Anyways, we'll listen again. So what about Mrs. Gibson? How, what was the solution? How did the receptionist uh, solve her problem when, when she asked for, um, when she said, when she complained that the shower wasn't hot enough, what did the receptionist say? What was, what did she, do to help i said someone <clears throat> so she'll so the receptionist said i'll send someone for for all of them for all three of them the same solution or not for all three of them not for no. Okay, so I think we need to listen again. Let's listen again, but this time I don't want you to focus on the problems. I want you to focus on the solutions, okay? So I want you to focus on the solutions of, of uh, the receptionist, okay? So let's listen to what she says to each person, all right? So let's listen again. Track 40. Good morning, sir. Can I help you? Good morning. I'm sorry, but I've got a bit of a problem. The remote control in my room doesn't work, so I have to walk over to the TV every time I want to change channels. I wonder if you could ask someone to fix it. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I'll get someone to look at it this morning. Thank you. Oh, and I wonder if I could have some more towels, please. I dropped mine in the bath last night. Of course. I'll ask room service to get you some more. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, where do I go for breakfast? The restaurant is just along the corridor on your left. Thank you. OK, so let's start with Mr. Lane. So what did she say when he said the remote isn't working? I'm sorry, I'm sorry to hear that. Correct. She said, I'm sorry. I'm and then? 
I will get someone to look at uh, this morning. Yes, exactly. So she said, I'll get someone to look at it. So maybe she'll send someone to fix it, correct. And what about his second problem? Can you remember his second problem? Breakfast, the towels. Maybe. Before breakfast. The, the towels. The towels, towels, towels yeah. right? So he said, I dropped my towel in the bath. Mm -hmm. And nice. what, what did the receptionist say? How did she solve his problem? What did she say? I'll ask. I'll for send that. more. I'll send to more for you, I think. Ask her on purpose. Yes, because the receptionist, she won't go to the room, so she'll send uh, room service, right? So oh, she'll yeah. ask, she'll ask room service to give him more towels. All right, so okay, so we, now we know how the receptionist solved Mr. Lane's problem. Now let's listen to Mr. Cole's problem and let's see what she does. Let's listen. Good morning, sir. Can I help you? I certainly hope so. I'm afraid I've got a complaint. I'm in room 102 and it's much too noisy. I'm right next to the lift and I didn't get any sleep last night. I'm very sorry to hear that, but I'm afraid there isn't another room available today. We're fully booked. Right. Could I speak to the manager, please? Just take a seat and I'll let him know you'd like to see him. OK. So, so he complained about uh, his noisy room and then he asked for something. What did he ask for? Uh, to meet the manager. Right, exactly. So he wanted to see the manager. And what did uh, the receptionist say? What did she say? Wait a minute, I want to get it. Yeah, exactly. Take a seat, wait a bit. I'll tell him you need to talk to him. So, mm -hmm. so she solved the problem in a way, right? She said, okay, you can see the manager. So you can complain to the manager. All right, nice. Let's listen to the rest of the problem. I think now it's Mrs. Gibson. Let's, let's listen to her. Thank you. Excuse me, could you help me, please? Hello, Mrs. Gibson. What's the problem? I'm sorry, but I think there's something wrong with the shower. It isn't hot enough. Would you mind sending someone to look at it, please? Of course. I'll send someone up straight away. It's room 303, isn't it? Yes, that's right. Thank you very much. Not at all. Oh, and we have to leave today, I'm afraid. Oh, so you're not leaving tomorrow? No, I'm sorry. I got the dates wrong. We have to get home by this evening. I'm really sorry. Don't worry. It's not a problem, Mrs Gibson. Checkout is at 12 o'clock. Thank you very much. So there is another room available today? Yes, there is now. It's room 303. Do you want me to reserve it for you? Yes, please. OK. You can change rooms any time after 2pm. Right. Thank you very much. OK, so before we continue, let's, let's talk a little bit about Mrs Gibson. What's her problem? Uh, <clears throat> change a room, maybe, because it's hot. Mm. The shower wasn't uh, it is hot enough. Yes, the shower wasn't hot enough. That's her problem. That's her complaint. What? The shower isn't hot ah, enough. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. mm, I think a room is hot. No, not the room. No, no, the shower. The shower wasn't hot enough. Yes. And uh, what did the receptionist say? to leave. She also wants to leave, but the two the two things are not related, or are they related? The shower no. and leaving. Yes, it's not related. Not because related. Dates are wrong. Yes, because she her checkout date was wrong, so she needs to leave earlier than her checkout uh, date. Okay. So, how did the receptionist? solve the problem of hot of the, the 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 shower what did she say of course i'll send uh, someone out right so okay. she'll she'll okay. send exactly yes she'll send someone to check it or to fix it or something okay and then mr cole he's going to take her room right yes do you think there's gonna there's gonna be a new problem now Yes, no. uh, the, shower. the shower. 
Terrible. Not terrible. Not terrible. All right. But the shower, they're, they're going to fix it now because the receptionist will send someone to fix the shower. So when Mr. Cole gets the room, the shower will be fixed, right? Yes, but after 2 p.m. After 2 p.m. But, but anyways, uh, Mr. Cole, he cannot go to the room before 2 p.m., right? Yes. Be because yes. Mrs. Gibson has to check out first. But there's another problem. I want you to pay attention. Now, remember the room that Mr. Cole is going to get from yes. uh, someone booked three. it. Yes. 303, right? Yes. Okay. Now I want you to listen to the to the telephone call because the receptionist is going to get a call now. I want you to listen to what what she says on the phone, okay? So let's listen. Good morning, the Station Hotel. Oh yes, that's the rock band, isn't it? And they're just staying for one night. Yes, their rooms are reserved here this evening. They're in rooms 301, 302, 304 and 305. Thank you. Bye. Mm. What did you notice? What's happening or what happened? Uh, maybe some people uh, make a party. <laughs> yes, right? Because remember, Mr. Cole's problem is that his, his room is too noisy because, no, of, yeah, because of the one. lift, because of the lift, right? So now, now he moved to a new room he moved to room 303, right? This is his new room. But there is a rock band, and the rock band, they are staying in room 301, 302, 304, and 305. He's in the room five, middle of this room. So he's, he's in the middle of the, the, the rock band. So do you think he'll have a quiet night tonight or Perhaps. not? A... <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be worse than his first room, right? Is, I think maybe he's going to go back to the receptionist and say, can I get my old room next to the lift, please? <laughs> so maybe, maybe he'll sleep in the lift, maybe. <laughs> maybe, he'll, maybe he'll sleep in the corridor because it's going to be very, very noisy. All right, so this is, this is an example of a, a usual day in, in a hotel and some of the usual problems. Now, let's hear, let's check number four. So we want to talk a little bit about complaints and requests, okay? So we have eight sentences and I need you to tell me, do you think these sentences, are they, what are they? Are they complaints? Are they requests? And what's the difference? What do you think is the difference between a complaint and a request? What do you think? Request is maybe more polite, I think. Okay. And complain, okay. And complain there's a big problem more than request. There's mm -hmm. a problem, of course. Okay. So you mean there's a problem in both situations, in the complaint and in the request, both, right? No, I think more with the complaint. Ah, but but a request, there's no problem. You think there's no problem when when maybe if you need something, just if you need something, you can request that. Mm, no. Request, you need the solution for a problem. Correct. And yes. Complain, just complain. No need for. A... But why why would you complain if you don't want the solution? I think I think in Libyan culture we like to complain and we don't want a solution. <laughs> yes, maybe you're right about this, but I think in a hotel, I think if you complain, of course you want a solution. I think right. Yes. But maybe you're right. Maybe with a request, maybe the problem is not too big, so maybe you ju you just you're just asking for someone to fix it, without making a big complaint, right? But if it's a complaint, it means you're showing you're upset. Maybe this is the idea. Anyways, let's take a, take a look here. Example number one. 
I'm sorry, but I've got a bit of a problem. So you can see that this is a complaint C. And here the person didn't ask for some solution. He just talked about his problem, right? So this is an example of a complaint. What about number two? What do you think this is? Is it a complaint or is it a, a, a request? Requests. A request. Mm, okay, so this is a request. What about number three? Requests. Request. Right. So this is a, another request. Number four? Complaint. Right. Number five? Request. Correct. Number six? Request. Request. Mm -hmm. What about number seven? Complain. Correct. You're complaining about the shower. Number eight? Requests. Right. So you can see here that they're not, they're not very different. I think, but maybe complaint is a little stronger, that's all. But mm, I don't think they're too different. Anyways, let's check the second part of the question. Now here in the second part of the question, it says, um, look at the underlined verb forms, then complete the phrases with infinitive or verb plus ing. So this means we actually have two options to use to complete the rules. You can use an infinitive verb or you can use verb plus ing. So you have, mm, you have one of these two options. So this means we have to look at all the examples above in the, in the exercise here. So we can check, check and take a look. So the first one, it says, if you use, I wonder if I, or I wonder if you could, what do we use after it? Infinitive. Infinitive, right? Because take a look, take a look at this example. I wonder if I could have, and I wonder if you could ask. So this means we need to use infinitive. Infinitive is okay. correct. All right, what about the second one? Could I, could you? What do we use after could I, could you? Infinitive. Same infinitive thing, also. right? Also infinitive, because if you look at the examples, could I speak to the manager? Could you help me? So we also need, and we need an infinitive. Okay, what about would you mind? Would you mind? What do we use after yeah, you? Right, because if you take a look at the example, would you mind sending someone? Would you mind looking at this? Would you mind cleaning the room? Would you mind changing the pillow? So we need to use verb plus ing. This is the idea. All right, so these are three ways in which you can, you know, you can request something. If you have a problem in your hotel or in your restaurant, you can, you can ask, you can request using these phrases. So for example, if the coffee is cold, you can say, would you mind changing this? Or you can say, I wonder if you could heat this. Could I get another cup of coffee? Could you please uh, put it in the microwave? For example, if you want to make a request, you can using this. All right, now let's take a look at our next exercise, number five. So we want to talk a little bit about uh, intonation, okay? So you can see here the note, it says, we can tell if people are being polite by how much their voices go up and down. If their voices are very flat, they can sound rude or impatient. Mm. All right, so of course we've talked about intonation before. If you want to sound friendly or if you want to sound polite, your voice in your intonation needs to go up and down, up and down. This way you're, you sound interesting 
or you sound friendly, or you sound polite. But if you speak in one tone like this, it sounds very flat and it sounds like it's rude. So you can control how you sound by the way you talk. This is the idea, the difficult naram or intonation. Now, in number five, I want you to listen to two sentences and each sentence will, re will be repeated twice, okay? The first person will sound rude and the second person will sound polite. So here I just want you to listen, that's all. Just listen to the difference, how the, the first person sounds rude and how the second person uh, sounds polite. This is the idea. So let's listen to the sentences, these two sentences. Track 41. I'm sorry, but I've got a bit of a problem. I'm sorry, but I've got a bit of a problem. Could I speak to the manager, please? Could I speak to the manager, please? Mm -hmm. OK, so you can clearly see that the second person, you know, sounds friendly and polite, right? Because her, her voice, it goes up and down. Sounds... <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> احنا <laughs> والمطاعم خدمات هي يتصوروا يركزوا في يركزوا فيه بشكل كبير يعني لو انت كلمتي اي مؤسسة على البدالة متاحهم والمضفة الاستقبال حتلاحظي حتستعمل زل زل second person حتدوي لك بالطريقة الثانية مش مش حتدوي زل الطريقة الاولى uh, but مزبوط كلامك it doesn't sound too rude the first one for us uh, it sounds normal anyways now, we want to focus in the second exercise, part B, the second part of the question. It says, listen to two to six sentences said twice. Which is polite, A or B? Maybe, what, maybe A is polite, maybe B is polite. You have to pay attention. So we're going to listen to each sentence twice. I'm going to pause and stop the track and We'll do it together, okay? So let's listen and let's find out. So number one is already answered. Two. One. A. I wonder if you could ask someone to fix it. B. I wonder if you could ask someone to fix it. Okay, so number one is answered. Let's listen to number two now. 2. A. I wonder if I could have some more towels, please. B. I wonder if I could have some more towels, please. Mm -hmm. Which one is more polite? B. You think? B. Right. That's correct. B is more polite. Let's continue. 3. A. I'm afraid I've got a complaint. B. I'm afraid I've got a complaint. B. Mm -hmm. B. That's right. B. A, Correct. I think it's more polite. Huh? Mm, I don't know. Let's listen again. Listen again to A and B. A. I'm afraid I've got a complaint. B. I'm afraid I've got a complaint. B, it's more polite. B, polite. B, yeah. B, B. Yeah. B, it's more polite. B, it's more polite because the voice goes up and down, the intonation goes yeah. up and down. Okay. It needs someone to focus. Yes, it needs a little bit of focus, you're right. And because, uh, like, uh, like uh, Sophia said, we don't do this mm, a lot in Libya. 
So it's, you know, it sounds maybe strange to us. Okay, mm. let's listen to number four. Four. A. Could you help me? B. Could you help me? A. 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 Correct. A. Yes, A is more polite, more friendly. That's right. Okay, number five. Five. A. I'm sorry, but I think there's something wrong with the shower. B. I'm sorry, but I think there's something wrong with the shower. B. 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 Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay, now we've got the last one. Six. A. Would you mind sending someone to look at it, please? B. Would you mind sending someone to look at it, please? A. 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 Right, that's correct. Okay, so this is the idea. طبعا بالنسبة لنا شو منستفيدوا منها موضوع هذا I don't know ممكن الاستفادة انك if you want to sound friendly if you want to sound polite try to change the intonation نظم الصوت يعني ماذا بيكم يكونش flat you know <laughs> make it make it more interesting. This is the idea. All right, so number six, I think we can skip it because they want us to practice this, but I think you get the idea, so we can leave it. All right, number seven is nice. So number seven, we've got two conversations. Yeah, two conversations. And I'd like you to complete these conversations using the words in the box. So here you can see we have a guest and the receptionist. So the guest has some kind of problem. So maybe he's going to request something or maybe he's going to complain. And the receptionist, of course, will try to help or solve the problem. The same thing here in conversation number two, Nafsu Qissa. We have a guest and we have a receptionist. The guest has some problem and the receptionist will try to help. So take a few minutes Take a few minutes. Let's try to answer all of these. This is just to separate the two conversations. So take a few minutes, use the words in the box to complete the gaps, and then we can check them, check them together, and we can practice them together. But uh, before you start, let me just check something very quickly, because I think there's an extra exercise to tomorrow. Ah, this is nice. Uh, okay, I remember now. Okay, so uh, take some time and uh, let's complete the two conversations, then we can practice it. And then I'll show you the next exercise. So you can start. We can start or no, no, you yet. can, I mean, you can start answering, but we'll check it together. But uh, just answer them, answer them on your own, and then we'll check together.
I finished. Okay, great. Anyone else finished? Yes. Okay, excellent. Okay, so let's, um, so, okay, Samiha so and Sophia, you can do the first conversation together. One of you can be the guest and the other one, the other one can be the receptionist, okay? Okay. Uh, excuse me, could you help me? Yes, of course. What's the problem? I'm sorry, but I think there is um, something wrong uh, with the light in the bathroom. Would you mind? Uh, would you mind sending someone to look at it, please? Okay. Let me just write the answer. You said I'm sorry. But I think there's, uh, what did you, what's your answer, Simiha? I think there's- Something wrong with the light. Something, something wrong, wrong with the light. Something wrong. Something wrong with the light in the bathroom. And then number five, what did you answer? Would you mind, would you mind sending someone? Mm -hmm. Okay, and uh, the receptionist? What's, what's your solution to her problem? Sophia, are you there? Yeah, oh, I think uh, microphone is on. Ah, okay. uh, I, yes, of course, I will send uh, someone up uh, straight away. Mm -hmm. Thanks very much. Right, that's good. Okay, now let's check the second one. Who'd like to do the second conversation? Me. All right, Selma and uh, who else wants to volunteer? Okay. Selma or Sumaya. Selma and Sumaya, both of you. Okay, you can, okay. one of you can be the guest and the other one can be the receptionist. I'll be the guest. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Uh, I think question number two, sir. Huh? Yeah, number two, the second conversation. Hmm. I'm sorry, but I have got a bit of a problem. The shower isn't hot enough. Hmm. Got a bit of a problem. The shower isn't hot enough. Okay, so receptionist. Uh -huh, continue, yeah. I wonder if you could ask someone to fix it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry about that. Uh, I'll get someone to look at uh, immediately. Uh, thank you. Um, thank, thank you. Also, uh, also, I'll get, I'll get. No, no, it's not. I'll get one minute. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Also, I'll get breakfast. I'll get. I'll get have breakfast in my room. No, no. Could I? Could I? Where is could I? I can't see it. Yeah. Could I? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. Could I? Could I? I didn't see it. Wallahi. <laughs> okay. You you can do the the sentence again. So me start from thank you. Thank you. Also, could I have breakfast in my room? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. I'll ask uh, room service to call you. Nice. Thank you very much. Nice. Okay. So uh, let's find someone else to practice these one more time. Or I have a better idea. Because the second part of the question it's interesting. What they want us to do is they want us to create our own conversation. So let me show you the next question. So it says, write a conversation between a receptionist and the hotel guest. And we can use phrases from number two and number four. So what we want to do is we want to do our own conversation, our own complaint, So we're gonna have our own conversation here on the right side. 
And we're going to use the same expressions and the same ideas from, from this side. OK, now, first of all, I want to start by explaining what's the difference by asking it's better between these two words. Or are they the same? What do you think? Why do I sometimes say complain and sometimes I say complaint? Is it the same words or are there Maybe any? Maybe verb and no. Correct, you're right. One of them is a verb, the other is a noun. But which one, which one, which one is a noun and which one is a verb? Complaint, complaint no. Now. Which one, with the T or without? With the T, T. no. Correct, correct, that's it. So with the T, this is the noun. No. Right. So you can say, I have a complaint. So if you say, I have a complaint, it's a noun. OK, it's very noisy. There's, there's a football match live, I think. <laughs> OK. Some of, some of the advantages of Zoom lessons. <laughs> okay. Now, so you can see here. So, Sumaya. Sumaya. It's very noisy. Can, can, you, can you keep what? it muted? Sorry. Because it's just a little noisy. Uh, Okay, when, when it gets a little quiet, just, just unmute so you can talk with us. All right, now we have complain. Uh, so your answer is correct. Complain, it's a verb, and complaint, it's, it's the noun. Anyway, so let's, uh, let's, let's get to our question now. So uh, here I want, I want to start a conversation. Now I need Suhaib and Rashid to help me. So we're going to make a conversation together. So th the first conversation is between Rashid and Suhaib. So here we have a guest. So maybe Rashid, you can be the guest. And uh, Suhaib will be the receptionist. So what's your problem, Rashid? Let's say you're, you're staying in a hotel, Rashid. Do you have a problem? and you can complain about it. And so I will try to help you. The receptionist will try to help you. And you can use, you can use some of, uh, you can use some of the expressions from, from this side. Excuse me, can you help me? Okay, can you use another one? Okay, excuse me, can you help me? Let's use this one. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Can I help you? Okay. Or well, what's your problem? Yeah, but we need to change a little bit. We don't want to just copy paste. But, but okay, you can say yes, of course. So the receptionist will say, so I said, yes, of yes, course. Yes, of course, what the problem? Mm. Yes, of course. What's the problem? Let's use the other hand. So what's the problem, Rashid? What's the problem you have? Um, I think uh, there's a fight between the ne uh, ne next room. Mm, this is a good, it's a good problem. Very Libyan, but good. I think <laughs> there's a fight in the next room. Mm. Okay, how can you solve this problem, so I receptionist? What should you say? And also, sorry, uh, no, Rashid, not, uh... 
sorry, Gatatik, sorry. You can also, Rashid, you can also add, you can say, for example, I'm sorry, but I think to make your, you know, to make your complaint uh, nicer or more friendly, friendlier and more polite. So I'm sorry, but I think, but like this. Uh huh. So receptionist, what are you going to say? Now the, uh, there aren't uh, available available rooms. Uh, okay. But he didn't he didn't ask for another room. He just complained. Maybe send security or another thing. Mm. Yeah. I'm so. Uh huh. Uh huh. So hi. Oh, I'm sorry about hearing that. I'm sorry to hear that. مثلاً تقدر تقول. But then top تعطي حل صعب. شن حد يقول? What are you gonna say? Call the police. Okay, so you can say I'm sorry to hear yes, that. Yes, we want to change the room. Uh, but he didn't say he wants to change the room. He just said there's a fight. هو بيقول لك تعالوا شوفوا ضيوفكم بيكتبوا بعض يعني مراتي بيلاحظ يحضر الاكشن هو ما قالش هي دينت سي اي ونت تو تشينج ذا روم هو ايش قال لك انه في في مشكله صايره بس سوري بس ماي انترنت بس كنا اتس اوكي سو الفكره يا سهيب هو هنا ما طلبش تغيير الغرفه هي جاست سيد ذير از ا فايت يعني ممكن يعطي فيكم تنبيه بس انه راهو في مشكله صايره في الغرفة اللي جنبنا فانت تبي تحل المشكلة هذه. So what are you gonna say? What, what do you I'm think? I'm sorry. Uh, I'll say to him uh, to uh, throw it sound. So sorry? You'll say? Uh, I'll talk to them to to keep it down to be quiet, to be quiet. Mm, okay so you can say yes. I'm, <clears throat> I'm sorry I'm sorry to hear that or I'm sorry about that you can say I'll talk to them to keep it down to keep it down it means uh, you know, to stay quiet. Not sure what Okay, so What do you think? So, what are you going to say? I'm sorry, but I Uh, but uh, I have a class right now. I want uh, them to. No, okay, okay, this is good. You can say, I'm sorry, but. Sorry, but I have a Zoom lesson with Dr. Sue right now. Now, so okay, what what do you want exactly, Rashid? Do you want uh, what do you want the receptionist to do? Uh, I think it's the receptionist to uh, talk to the room. To. Do you want to change your room, Rashid? Uh, no. Uh, the people in the another room uh, take uh, take another room. Yes. Mm, okay, but I think this is hard to ask. You can't say, "Could you change their room?" You can say, um, "Maybe could you." But what kind of fight, Ol Haja? No, Is it like a serious fight? 
or just you know they're playing they're just joking what do you think no serious uh, fight uh okay I have a zoom lesson right now could you <laughs> could you could you send some could you send some security or or call the police please so the receptionist they asked you to call the police or call security what are you going to do now receptionist oh my god <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she will run. Maybe she'll be afraid. Okay. So what what do you think, Saib? What are you gonna say now? Yes, I will. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can say uh, uh, yes, yes, of I'll course. Send, I, I'll send all the scores. All right, good. So yes, of course. I'll send. I'll send. Then the security guard. The security guard to check it. Check it. Okay, and the guest. You can just say in the end. Should we go a guest? I think thank you. That's all. Okay. All right. So this is an example of a conversation. Now let's use. Let's think of another conversation and let's change the words a little bit. So who would like to help me think of another conversation, another complaint between a guest and the receptionist? Mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe we start with I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. um, I think um, I have a problem. Yeah, you can use the same one, but I've got bit of a problem but now instead of the shower let's think of another problem maybe the air condition doesn't work maybe this is a common problem i think especially if it's a hot country okay let's write this the maybe the room is, wasn't very clean there's, a there's something wrong with uh, with my air condition Okay, there is something wrong with there's something wrong with my air conditioner with my sometimes they just say AC. Okay, what do you want exactly? Now you you told them there's something wrong. So what do you want? Uh, I'm sorry. I ask um, or I send. Okay, so this is the receptionist, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe mm -hmm. I'll send someone. Check it. Someone to check it. For example, right immediately, now. right now. I'll send someone to check it right now. Okay, and now you have another thing you want to ask about. My uh, newspaper. Uh... Mm -hmm. What about your newspaper? It's it's cold. It's it's, hot, it's not hot enough. No, uh, <laughs> it isn't uh, arrived. Hasn't arrived. Yeah, you can say. Thank you. Also, my news paper hasn't arrived yet. 
So what is the receptionist going to say? Or we can also add a request. We can say, could. Can you, can you, uh, could you, uh, could I have, uh, could you send me uh, last one? Yeah, you coffee. can just say, could you send me someone to get it, right? Correct. And what is the receptionist going to say? I will try. I don't think I'll try is a good no, answer. <laughs> I think you, course, should, you yeah. should do. You should say, oh, of course. Diplomatic answer. This is the Libyan answer. I'll, I'll try. But uh, other than film, I'll try. Man, it don't show bad. It don't show them. Chala, chala. But uh, I think they want results, so you can say yes, of course. Um, what else can the reception say? Yes, of course. Anything else, maybe? Um, yeah, yeah, maybe. That's not a bad idea. Anything else, sir, madam, or madam? Can I go to guest? No, thank you. No. Thanks. No, thanks. That's no, all. No, thanks. That's, that's all. Yeah, it's a good conversation, I think. All right, so let's practice a little bit with these two interesting conversations. Okay, so Selma, you can do the first one. And let's find someone else with you. So, hi, can you hear us? Is your connection better? Can, can you talk? Yes, yes. Okay, so, so hi, you can be the guest in the first conversation, and Selma can be the receptionist. Okay. Excuse me, can you help me? Yes, of course. What's the problem? I'm sorry, but I think there is a fight in, in the next room. I'm sorry about uh, it. I, I forgot have... it. Okay. I'm sorry about. Uh, I'm sorry about it. I'll talk uh, to them to keep uh, down. Keep it down. I'm sorry, but I have a, a Zoom listen with uh, Dr. Sue uh, right now. Could you send me some security or call in the police, please? Yes, of course. I'll send the, the security, uh, the security guard to check it. Thank you. Mm, all right. Nice. <laughs> OK, let's, let's do the second. Who'd like to do the second one? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Samiha, you could do the second one. Uh, Rashid, okay, you can be you can be the guest or maybe the receptionist. You can be the guest, okay, and Samiha will be the receptionist. I'm sorry, but I've got a, a bit of a, a problem. There's something with, wrong with my uh, air uh, conditioner. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. I'll send someone to check it right now. Thanks. Uh, also, my uh, newspaper hasn't uh, arrived yet. Could you send me uh, something, someone uh, to get it? Yes, of course. Anything else, sir? Uh, no, thanks. That's uh, all. Mm -hmm. All right, nice. So this is just an example of, you know, normal conversations that happen in a hotel between the guests or the customers and the receptionist. So we practiced this. No, 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 no. We did some roles. Okay, so we finished also number eight. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about uh, strong and weak forms. I think we've talked about them before, but let's, you know, just do it as quickly as we can. Mm. Ah, okay. All right, so this is a bit of a guessing question. So in the beginning, we want to listen to the strong form 
and the weak form of each of these uh, verbs. Because remember, we agreed that uh, in the English language, usually what happens is with was and were, you don't hear them clearly because they're not stressed. Mm -hmm. So when they're not stressed, this is called the weak form. Or the weak form, I mean, it is strong form. Because in the classroom, teachers always use the strong form. They only stand with a good like was, where, does, do. This is the strong form. Mish galtiya, hiya sah, kasharah, kada. Bis dakhil juma nafsa. Uh, especially if a, a native speaker is speaking, weak form. So now I want you to listen to the two forms, the strong form, weak form. I want you to listen to this, and after that, I'll explain to you how we can do number number two. So let me just show you the difference. So let's listen to this. 44. Was. Was. Were. Wa. Does. Does. Do. D. Okay. So, كيد كلكم تحسوا أنا غريب شوية الصوت في الويك ما تقدش تحس في رأيك أنا ممكن مسمعتوش قبل بس داخل الجملة نفسها لما حنسمع اللي هو part B حيطلع لكم الأصوات هذا حتسمعها and uh, the weak form is usually shorter مزال أكثر من ال strong form في بان أكثر but here we have a guessing question in number two I want you to guess it says here, do we usually say the strong or the weak forms of the words in blue? So we have to decide. So I want you to guess, هل حتكون strong form S ولا هل حتكون weak form W? Weak form. لولا توا W, جاوبين هانا. We were having lunch. We were having lunch. We were having lunch. And etc. Right. So, how do you think it's a weak yeah, form? I think strong. Do you think strong? Uh, yes, I, I think strong. The beginning mm. of the sentence. Okay. Mm. What about uh, number three? Yes. Weak. Weak. Mm. Okay. No, strong. Strong. Strong, strong. yes. Stronger. What do you think, Saib? Stronger weak? Stronger. But why? Why is it strong? I was thinking it's uh, auxiliary. It is an auxiliary. Because we have full stop. Maybe because oh, we yes, have full we stop. The end of the sentence. And we, uh, we, we do s- like s- I am. Yeah, yes, so we, we should. Strange. Yes, we do. Short answer, short answer. Mm, it's a short answer. Maybe it's a strong form. Mm, okay. We need these reports. What about them before? Does strong? Do we say does Lisa know or does Lisa know? Mm, strong? You think so? I think weak. Weak. Maybe mm. weak. Maybe weak. I don't know. All right. Yes, she does. Strong. Okay. Okay. Weak. 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 Okay. Weak. Yes. We. Strong. Strong. Mm, what about this one? Weak. Weak. Okay. And this one? Strong. Strong. All right. And this one? Weak. Uh, weak. Okay, and the last one? Weak. Weak. Mm. Okay, let me just see the script. If we if we have it in the script, CD245. Because this way it will show us in the script which ones are weak and which ones are strong. This way we have a better 
glue. So CD2, 45, let's take a look. Okay, uh huh. So, Michel Tinic conversation came in, but let me see. Mary Kate being attacked. What in Ijabat bis? This is the answer. Hmm, strange. Okay, but let's let's copy the answers. Let's connect the bone now, Lisar. And then we can compare them to your answers. And then we can listen with, with the answers, Ahsir. So, so number two is weak. Two is weak. Uh, three is strong. Two is weak. Three, strong. Four, weak. Five strong, six weak, seven strong, six weak, and seven is strong, and eight is weak, it is weak, nine is strong, ten is weak, and eleven is weak, ten is weak, and the last one. 11 is weak. Okay, so now we can go back to your answers and we can listen and check. I think we went back too much. Okay. Here it is. So let me show you your answers and let's see how many were correct. Mm. So for number one, I mean number two, you said it's strong, but it's actually, it was weak. So this one was incorrect. Okay. So let me just uh, correct our answers, that the ones that we did together. So the first one was not correct. Then the third is strong. This one is correct. The fourth, the fourth you said weak, that's correct. Okay, let's see the wrong but it's Number five, strong, صح. Number six, صح. weak. Seven, strong, yes. W, eight, yes. Nine, strong, weak, weak. So this means that we have one wrong, but number three, the only wrong. Number three, no, number three is actually strong. Ah, sorry, number two is yeah, the only wrong. So we only have number two wrong, but the rest are actually right, which is great. So now I want you to listen to this conversation and see how it goes. So let me play the track for you. Let's take a look. Track 45. Sorry, we're late. We were having lunch. Right, do we need anything for the meeting? Yes, we do. We need these reports. Does Lisa know about the meeting? Yes, she does. OK. Were you at the last meeting? Yes, we were. Was it a very long meeting? Yes, it was. What was it about? I don't know. I was asleep. OK. So, so you get the idea. Let's practice this. Mm, let's see. Who'd like to... B A and who would like to be B? Okay, so maybe you can be A, and let's look for another victim. All right, Sophia, you can be B. Okay, so A and is is it noisy or quiet, Sumeya, where you're staying now? Mm, I think it's a bit noisy. Uh, okay, let's let's try to do it quickly before it gets noisier. <laughs> so you can be A, and Sophia, are you there? Can you hear us? 
You can be, you can be B, Sofia. Yes. Ah, okay, good. So you can start, uh, Sumeria. Sorry, we are late. We were having lunch. Right. Right, do. We, we need anything for the meeting. Yes, we do. Uh, we need this reports. The, the, uh, does, li uh, does Lisa know about the meeting? Yeah. Yes, she does. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where you at the last meeting? Where you are the last meeting? Yes, we were. Was it very long meeting? Mm hmm Okay, yes, it was. Mm -hmm. I think she disappeared. Continue, Sophia. I said yes, it was. Ah, but you were on mute, I think. If we didn't hear you. <laughs> okay. Uh huh, Sophia, number 10. Uh, what was it about? I don't know. I was. I was asleep. Right. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, so you can see this is an example. Um, again, with, with strong and weak forms. Um, I think it's need the more training. It them. needs a lot of training, I think, to, to get it. Yes, yes, to get it to get it correctly, it needs training. But the حسن الحظ أهميتها بالنسبة لنا يعني كمتعلمين أهميتها في listening أكثر منها في speaking. أن ما دام تنضبط أن مش شخص يستعملها لك يا لكن طبعا الأحسن أكيد لو أن نقدروا مثلا we were having lunch uh, do we need anything uh, does Lisa know yes she does were you at the last meeting yes we were was it a very long meeting yes it was what was it about I don't know I was asleep فدي بشوية training يعني بش يجاب صوت بس في الاسم يعني بالنسبة لي يعني معلش راهو ما حضرتش الويك وسترونغ ما كنت معاكم بالكل فيها فجاوبتي كي باي لا عادي هو يعني موضوع يعتبر اهميته زي ما حكيت لكم ان اهم لو هي المشكله احد المشاكل يعني منها المتعلمين ان دائما نسمعوا في مرات ما نقول لك ما سمعتهاش ما سمعتش الواز ما سمعتش الوير ما يقول لك ما سمعتش الدو ما قالهاش ما قالش الهاف ما قالش اللي كان يعني متعودين ح... متعودين دائما احنا اللي هو بال بالسترونج فورم لان يعني المدرس عاده الفصل ديما حيستعمل سترونج للتوضيح هي ديما حيقولها كامله حيقول لك كان وير واز هاف بس داخل الكونفرزيشن نفسها لو تلاحظوا انتم شوفوا من جد الغالب الغالب انه هو الويك اكثر يعني السترونج ما جتناش الا لما جت كاجابات كشورت انسر وبعدها فول ستوب بس تطلع لك الصيغه الكامله غير هيك حتمشي بسرعة ما في ما عندهاش ما عليهاش يعني ستريس حتنقال بسرعة يعني مش حيقول لك رايت دو وي نيد اني ثينك فور ذا ميت مش حيقولها بشكل هذا يقول لك رايت دو وي نيد اني ثينك فور ذا ميتينج نيد اني ثينك فور ذا ميتينج نيد ستريسد اني ثينك ستريسد ميتينج ستريسد باقي كلها مش ستريس كلها حيمشي بسرعة فيعني أهمية في الليسننج أكثر But uh, if you want to practice this, if you want to get better, better at this, Samiha is absolutely right. You need to practice, train yourself. All right, so I think we can move on. Let's talk a little bit. This is for our next lesson, but I think we can start with number one, only about number one. So let me quickly explain what this lesson is about. This is present perfect. Of course, if you remember in the, at the end of elementary B, We talked a little bit about the present perfect, not a lot. We talked a little bit about it. And here in this lesson, we're going to continue talking about the present perfect. We are going to talk about the relationship between the present perfect and the past simple. So we're going to talk about both of them in this lesson. And also, we will talk about how to use for 
and how to use since with the present perfect. So this is the grammar. So home sweet home. So this is the, the title or the heading of, of this lesson. So this is for our next lesson, but let's do number one. So number one, here we have some words to describe your home. So describing your home. So it says here, read these sentences, which verbs, uh, sorry, which words, phrases in bold do you know? And check the new words and phrases in, in the summary in page 142. But let's start. So number one, my house is quite small. My house is quite large. My, or my flat is quite spacious. Everybody knows what small and large means, but what does this word mean, spacious? Yes, Sumeya, do you have a question? Can I ask what's, what's the difference between a flat and apartment? Ah, good question. Who can answer Sumeya's question? What's the difference between an apartment and a flat? Does anybody know? Or is it maybe the same thing? It's related. Related? Mm. Actually, actually, it's the same thing, except that apartment is American English and flat is British English. But otherwise, it's the same. A flat or an apartment is the same thing. Uh, when you translate them in Arabic, you, when you translate them, So it's the same. Um, all right. So flat I'm, British or American? British. Flat is British. This book is British. Yes. Yeah. So it's British. Americans say apartment. But uh, for us, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's not important which one you use. You can, you can use both. Okay, now uh, I want to know what this word means, spacious. Hmm. What does it mean, spacious? Again, what is it? A lot of spaces. Empty spaces, maybe, or it's very very uh, wide drums. That's actually correct. Spacious is the adjective of space. So if we say something is spacious, if we say, if we say an apartment or a flat is spacious, a room is spacious, a house is spacious, this means it has lots of space. So, so that's correct, space. Um, all right, what about number two? If we say unusual, or typical for the area. So let's say, for example, you're talking about your house or your home and you're saying the design is unusual for the area. This is clear, I think. But what if you say the design is typical for the area? What do you mean when you say the design is typical for the area? When uh, groups of uh, houses building uh, at uh, the same design, I think. Like There's no difference. What did you say, Sohail? There's no difference. There's no difference. Hmm. But I, mean, uh, to each others, I think. Yeah, I think that's it. Also. Yeah, when you say this is typical, uh, it means this is normal. In, in this area, to get the idea. So typical is, you mean, it means uh, it's similar to many others. So let's say all the houses, for example, in Libya, it's typical to, to use white in buildings. Hmm. Not all buildings, but you know, some new houses it's, it's, it's common or it's typical to use white. So this is the idea. How, how can we translate, by the way, the word typical? How can we translate it? Mm. Mm. 
متكامل متشابه متشابه اعتيادي اكثر تمشي لان نموذجي احنا هي صح تمشي حتى نموذجي لكن كلمه نموذجي بالعربي دي ما عندها وقع ايجابي لما نقولوا شيء نموذجي معناه شيء كويس بس في الانجليزي كلمه تيبكل ما فيهاش وقع ايجابي او سلبي يعني حياديه تيبكل وخلاص يعني زيها زي غيرها بالعكس يا اخي ممكن سلبيه اكثر في اللغه الانجليزيه ان ما هوش ما هوش مودرن ما هوش سبيشال ما هوش ديفرنت دي جت ايديا فتيبكل زي اي زي غيرها هذا النورمال يعني اعتيادي this is this is the idea All right, number three, I think all of you know air conditioning and central heating. This is not new. Also, number four, I think it's not new to say uh, a balcony, a great view, a garden, what hot. Number five, busy and quiet is also clear, I think. Number six, close to or a long way from a park or a shop or the metro. I had a, nothing new here. It's clear. Number seven. It's a nice part of town. It's a fashionable part of town. What do you think it means when we say it's a fashionable part of town? What does it mean? When we say fashionable, can we use fashion to talk about houses and neighborhoods? Yes, a modern design. Mm, modern, yes. Modern is correct. Close, not exactly, but cl close. What else do you understand from fashionable? Other, other than modern, other words. Special. Updated, maybe. Updated, special. Mm, okay, I think maybe modern is the best one. Because fashionable, it means uh, this is maybe a new design that's uh, become popular. And when we say a, a, a fashionable part of town, this means a nice part of town where everybody wants to go. Like, for example, in Tripoli, who, who, can, who can give me an example of fashionable areas in Tripoli now? What are the fashionable areas in Tripoli? For example, um, can we say can we say that uh, Buslim is fashionable? Uh, for oh, who's everybody's not from Tripoli here. R Rashid, Rashid, can can you give us an example of fashionable areas in Tripoli? Maybe Shara uh, Jaraba. Yes, exactly. Jaraba. Mm -hmm. mm, what else? Other other fas fashionable areas? Uh, Highland Luz. Correct. Uh, can we see also Noflin, some areas? Yes. Yes. So you get the idea. This is fashionable. It means the, the, the nice places or the cool places where you have nice shops, nice houses, nice cafes. All right. Anyway, so these are just some examples of some of the words we'll, we'll use in our next lesson. And we'll talk a little bit about our house, our, our homes in number two. So we can describe our homes in number two. Then we're going to do a little bit of listening. We're going to listen to Angus. And Angus lives in a lighthouse. Can you see this lighthouse? Do you think you can live in a lighthouse? So Angus, he lives here. So he'll tell us his story. And then we're going to listen to uh, Meg. And Meg lives in a motor home. So this is where she lives, in this motor home. So we're also going to listen to her story. All right, so this is, in, this is for our next lesson. That's all for tonight. Thank you for your time. And I'll see you again Thank on you. Thursday. Good night. Good night. Thank you. you. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Good night.